Thank you, Dr. River Chandran. That was a very informative talk. Good morning, everyone. My name is Zhenju, and I'm from Lumiere Cosmetic Clinic in Sydney. Now, my disclaimer is I'm a key opinion leader for InMode Australia, and today I'll be talking about multimodal radio frequency application for face and neck laxity. Now, in a study done by our colleagues, Dr. Dayan et al. in the States, they did a study on 247 patients, and they used InMode face titan Morpheus 8 on them, and after three months, they found that there is an improvement of Baker's classification face and neck score of 1.4 on average for these patients. That's very impressive uh, improvement. Now, they also found that controlled heating from the Embrace RF machine, it leads to immediate tightening of the collagen triple helix via the breakdown of collagen bonds in the collagen and uh, shrinkage of the normal collagen structure, induction of the heat healing cascade leading to neocollagenesis, elastin remodeling, heating of the fibroceptal network leading to skin contraction, and angiogenesis over the next three months. Now, non-excisional facial skin tightening has long been a goal that we want to achieve in aesthetic surgery. Now, currently, there is a treatment gap which exists between those patients who have severe skin laxity that's not severe enough for the excisional surgery such as face tight, uh, sorry, facelift, but a little bit too severe for our non-invasive procedures. There are two other groups of patients who also fit into this treatment gap. One is those patients who are severe enough for facelift, but they do not want to have a surgery that has long down, downtime and um, scarring. And secondly, those patients who have had facelift in the past, but now they have recurrent skin laxity. Now, this diagram shows the three groups of patients. On the left-hand side, we've got non-invasive uh, treatments. Usually, it's in office, but it requires multiple treatment with limited efficacy. And on the right-hand side, we have plastic surgery, which usually requires general anesthesia, has reasonably long downtime, and can be associated with significant scarring. So in the middle, we have the treatment gap, which is usually middle-aged, 35 to 60 years old, those patients who are looking for good results but does not want the long downtime and the scarring associated with surgery. Now, this is a short video from, uh, by my colleague, Dr. Mahaland from uh, Canada about the treatment gap. This is handheld, injectable, radio frequency skin tight. Basically, any doctor that you have that's doing an injectable filler can do injectable RF skin tightening. This is the size of the palm of the hand. The internal positive electrode of the bipolar RFL applicator is the size of the cannulas your doctors are using to inject HA gel like Voluma and Restylane um, or Radius or Sculptra. So a handheld injectable skin tightening opportunity, and this opens up the entire face and body for any physician under local anesthesia to tighten the skin. These are common acutite areas, the supraorbital, infraorbital, para, perioral region, jawline, and neck. I use the acutite typically up on the face, supraorbital brow, under the eye, cheek, whereas I tend to use the face tight in the bigger jowl and the neck. This is an example of jawline and neck treated with the acutite, jawline, perioral, and cheeks, and uh, treated with the acutite with the morpheus precutaneously on the neck. Periocular treatments with the Accutite, it can be used uh, suborbicularis, preorbicularis, around the septum and above the eye. This is a tremendous non-excisional um, gap opportunity for patients that don't want a blepharoplasty. Here's an example of an upper and lower lid treated with the Accutite and the Morpheus. A gap patient treated with the upper and the lower eye with the Accutite and the Morpheus, no excisional. Guys, lower lid bags and upper lids, a great gap opportunity. Non-excisional blepharoplasty with the Accutite and the Morpheus. Here's a patient with upper and lower lid, cheeks and jawline and neck using the Accutite in the upper facial areas and the face tight along the jawline with a tremendous non-excisional gap opportunity. Okay, now these are a few photos of the patients that can be suitable for the in-mode face tight and Morpheus 8. So how do I determine the suitability of a patient? Now, in my clinical practice, any patient who's got mild all the way to severe skin laxity can try face tight and Morpheus 8 if they have realistic expectation of what they want to achieve. So I would say most 
the best patients are the ones who's got mild to moderate skin laxity. And if the patient has severe skin laxity and they do not want surgery, then we can try the face tighter Morpheus 8, and a lot of them we can get quite good results. And I'll show you some photos later on. Now, I would do lipo on the patient if there are fatty deposits in the double chin or lateral lower face area. Now, the Embrace RF machine creates a new whole category of facial treatment. It's a subdermal adipose remodeling device which addresses the treatment gap that I mentioned before. So it's got two modalities. One is the face tight acutide group, which is what we call radio frequency assisted lipolysis. It's a non-aspirating cannula with a plastic tip that allows us to work safely in the subdermal plane for radio frequency induced tissue contraction and contouring. Now, secondly, we have the Morpheus 8, which is fractionated microneedling, which provides external radio frequency heat to mold the underlying fat and provide skin contraction. Now, the face tight acutite group of cannulas can be used on various parts of the face. We can use it on lateral forehead, uh, nasolabial fold, perioral, periorbital, lateral lower face, and the uh, submental area. Now, these are the specs for the acutite and face type. For the radio frequency assisted lipolysis, the way it works is the bipolar radio frequency energy travels from the internal electrode to the external electrode on the skin leading to uniform uh, heat, heating of the tissue and skin contraction. So up the top, we can see the diameter for the acutite is 0.9 millimeters, which is the size of a 22 gauge cannula. The length is about six centimeters. So the acutite can easily be manipulated by any physician who has used cannula for filler before. The optimal treatment depth for acutite is, is up to one inch. An acutite is optimal to be used for lateral forehead, for brow lifting, periorbital, perioral, and, the, um, and, and in the cheeks area. Now, the face tight down the bottom is a little bit longer and a little bit bigger. It's 1.3 millimeter in diameter. The cannula length is about 10 centimeters, and it's optimal to be used in lateral lower face and submental region. Now, both the acutite and the face tight the physician can preset the cutoff temperature for the internal and external electrode. For the internal electrode, we can, the temperature is adjustable between 50 to 70 degrees and the external temperature up to 42 degrees. As we know, above 42 degrees, we'll, we can cause skin damage. And we need the internal temperature to be above 55 degrees for uh, subcutaneous contraction. Now, the Morpheus 8, it's uh, recommended to be used with the radio frequency assisted lipolysis, so the face tight and the uh, acutite. It's applied externally and is the first and only device to, that can mold the fat in the subdermal region and contract skin. Now, the Morpheus 8 is safe to use in all skin Fitzpatrick types without, with little to no risk of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. There's various tips that we can choose for the Morpheus 8. The needle depth can go anywhere from 0.5 millimeter to 7 millimeter adjustable. The 7 millimeter is actually for the body. And the number of needles and pins on the uh, Morpheus head can vary anywhere bet between 12 to 40. So 12 is for a small tip that can be used in tight areas such as the periorbital region and the 40 pin tip is for the, for the body. Now the Morpheus 8 it applies bipolar radio frequency energy delivered to the skin at a predetermined depth and lead cause controlled injury. And it is this controlled injury that leads to inflammatory response and wound healing and contraction of the skin and neocollagenesis. So the Morpheus 8, well, after the, elect the energy is applied, we have triple effect of a sorry, triple effect of ablation just around the tip of the needle. We have a coagulation zone around the ablation area, and we have bulk feeding from the tip of the needle to the skin surface. Now, the Morpheus 8 actually have a, a unique body burst technology. So what it does is as the needle is retracting through the skin, every two millimeters, it will emit energy. This will give the most uniform heating from the tip of the needle all the way to the skin surface. So what sets the in-mode radio frequency assisted lipolysis apart. Now, it's got this unique ACE technology. So ACE stands for Acquire, Control, and Extend. 
So firstly, we'll need to acquire the therapeutic temperature for collagen contraction, which is between 38 to 42 degrees. And then we'll need to control the cutoff temperature by preset cutoff temperatures by the physician. And then we need to extend the therapeutic temperature for a period of time to allow for optimal result, but without the risk of over or underheating the tissue. And the radio frequency assisted lipolysis machine also has a safety feature called temperature surge protection. So on top of the ACE technology, if the measured temperature increase speed is 20 to 35 degrees per second, which indicate the cannula is either close to the skin surface or there is not enough tumescent in the, or local in the area, then the radio frequency power is reduced and to maintain the temperature increase below 20 degrees per second. Now, if the measured temperature increase speed is above 35 degrees, then it indicates the cannula is either touching the skin or is in a dry environment or the same spot has been treated too many times. The radio frequency energy is then stopped and the foot switch will need to be reapplied before we can continue the procedure again. Now, the, a message temperature surge will appear on the, on the machine and the physician will also hear a beep from the machine. So the physician will not have to look at the, the platform so that they can concentrate on what they're doing. Now, the in-mode radio frequency assisted lipolysis benefits. In my opinion, it's the best minimally invasive machine I have used for skin tightening over the last 10, 15 years. It's a good addition to um, other procedures such as chin lipo or face thread, face thread lift. And I would strongly recommend those patients who have moderate to severe skin laxity to do face tight plus Morpheus 8 to give an optimal result. And I think in my experience, combination treatment always give better results. So the clinical endpoints for radio frequency assisted lipolysis. There's usually two clinical endpoints. One is the achievement of target temperature. Now, as we approach the target temperature for both the internal and external electrode, the machine will let off a double beep. And once we achieve the target temperature, the machine will let off a triple beep. And the sound for the internal and, the and the external heat temperature is actually different. So the physician will know exactly which temperature has been approached and achieved. And secondly, we need to have effective time at temperature. So we need to maintain the therapeutic temperature for a period of time. And I would recommend 15 seconds for the face and 30 seconds for the body. Now, these are a couple of diagrams. On the left-hand side, we have fat coagulation before and after the radiofrequency-assisted lipolysis. And on the right hand, we have a contractual fibroceptal network. Now, the fibroceptal network is a 3D network of uh, fascia and elastic fiber in the subcutaneous layer. And it is the contraction of this network that leads to 80 to 85% of final contraction. Heating of the skin and skin contraction only lead to about 10 to 15% of final contraction. Now, we have here up to 47% contraction. One of my colleagues did a study on the, on the subcutaneous layer, surface area of the fat before and after the radio frequency assisted lipolysis, and we can see that there is up to 47% contraction before and after, which is very significant. Now, the clinical effects for the uh, radiofrequency assisted lipolysis, we've got fat coagulation leading to liquefaction, fibrous tissue contraction leading to skin contraction, blood vessel coagulation giving better hemostasis, and if lipo is done with the procedure, it, it will help lipo with decreased extraction force for easy aspiration. And if done with uh, lipo, we'll have less trauma, less edema, less swelling and pain. Now, all our lipo patients come back for review the next day. And my nurse can easily tell those patients who have had radiofrequency assisted lipolysis compared to those who haven't, because those who have, have much less uh, bleeding, swelling, and much less uh, pain. Now, just a few before and after photos. So this gentleman is three months post face tight and morphia eight. As you can see, he's got good contraction of the, um, of the skin and improvement of his jawline. Now, this lady on the right-hand side is actually only one month post-treatment, so she had good skin contraction, but she's still got more improvement to come. Usually for the uh, face tight and morphia say the final result will take three to six months to show. Now this lady is three months post face tight. As you can see, she's got good improvement of the lower face shape as well as jawline. Again, this lady, three months post face tight and morphia say good improvement of the lower face shape, jawline, 
also improvement of nasolabial fold and, and marinate area. Now this lady, she's got quite severe skin laxity. She would be a candidate for face type, uh, sorry, facelift. However, this lady didn't want a facelift. So we did Morpheus 8 and uh, face tight on her. As you can see, good improvement of lower face shape, improvement of the nasolabial fold and the marionette region. So in conclusion, the Embrace RF machine is a very good addition to our common armory of treatments for skin and subcutaneous contraction. It can be used alone or it can be used with other treatments such as chin lipo and face thread. Thank you.